jeans in for you for a whole month reasonable price how do we know that you're reputable I'm an entrepreneur professional game show contestant Barbados Chairman Mao Nicole Kidman party entertainer bad skin model that's wonderful happy you're there what do you see oh yes well Jean. show it off I scribbled my phone number and address on this slip of paper Trust me. See you in a month. Okay. wearing them for a month, they've molded to my body. What? They're a part of me. Uh-uh! No! No! Mm. One, two, three, four, eight, five. We're here to collect my jeans? Come on, let's pull them off her. <gasps> Turn around! <laughs> What did you do to my jeans? I'm an entrepreneur. How is that relevant? I became a paid test subject for an experimental new hormonal drug. Okay, Bellicini, I want you to take this twice daily. We're going to be monitoring your estrogen flow. So basically, I've had a month-long menstrual flow. That's disgusting. In time, after constant use of super maxis, they made a faded imprint on the jeans. You have ruined my jeans. Just keep them. You are a terrible entrepreneur. Whatever. Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Western and Melrose, December 7th, 8 p.m. You, maroon car, curly blonde hair. Me, gold Mercedes, white sweater. We grinned like dopey fools, and the light turned green. What's your name? Popcorn. I mean, cinema is the most important medium to come out of the 20th century. Well, granted, but, I mean, it's not quite that easy. I mean, the film had no plot. There's nothing more you can say about it. There's nothing more you can oh, do about it. Oh, oh, don't, uh, oh, oh, you don't need to tell me. Oh, I know. Excuse me. We just sat in the wrong movie for a half hour because we were directed to the wrong theater. And now we've missed the first part of our movie. Uh, when you were sitting there, didn't you notice it was the wrong movie? No, it's a foreign picture. It's hard to tell. Here's some free popcorn. Enjoy. Fine. Wonder how that poor new trainee's faring with that monster, Bobsy. So, have you filled out all your paperwork, Carl? With a K. Solitsky? Yeah, I did the paperwork. All right, so I guess I'm supposed to train you. The job's pretty self-explanatory. You can count money, right? Of course. Okay, then I can show you something cool. See this microphone? It's the customer's only way to hear us through the thick plated glass. 
Watch this. Hi, welcome to Silver Street Cinemas. How can I help you? One adult for the Duchess's picnic, please. What was that, fatty? You're looking a little fat today. A little bloated. Manhattan, 1979. Meet Rivka Weintraub, savvy journalist with a nose for a hot story. Okay, George, I got the subject from my next article. And it comes from personal experience. Women working and looking for love. And when Rivka gets out in the field, she really gets out in the field. George, believe me, I've gone on so many dates, it is so hard to find a guy nowadays. I mean, that is what women are thinking about. Loving Rivka. The Times calls Loving Rivka dazzlingly brilliant. USA Today says Charm Daniels in the role of Rivka is a revelation. What is it about New York that makes you fall in love and in bed with the wrong people? Solution? Why bother? With this assignment, Rivka knew she was getting in over her head, but she never knew she'd get her heart broken. Why does love in the 70s in New York have to be so complicated? Charm Daniels, starring in Loving Rivka. Coming soon to theaters. Hey, can I try? Knock yourself out, buddy. Hey, you ugly pseudo-intellectual bourgeois pig. What do you want to see? What? What? <laughs> One for Duchess's picnic, please. That'll be 8 Oh, Agatha, you are tiresome. Please, Lady Chester. Agatha, people of our social standing don't talk about food in such detail. Pepper jam lady fingers. <laughs> Fig frangipan. <laughs> Shortbread mound. Lady Chester! Cucumber sandwiches. Freshly whipped butter. <laughs> I love the British. They're so charming. Yeah. Black licorice humming dust. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I eat cat food. It's like, if I go over to somebody's house and I see they have cat food in their pantry, I'm like, yay, cat food. It's official. The cinema's been reborn. Leave it to the Europeans to save cinema yet again. <laughs> God, all that jerky camera movement, it's making me nauseous. <laughs> it's so brilliant, I'm appalled. <laughs> uh, one Snickers and uh... One milk dud. Sure, six dollars? So, I'm, I'm working on a screenplay. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's about these two guys on the run from the mob. So they pose as obstetricians, but they don't know anything about childbirth. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia. Do you think I'm stupid, Rigoberto? Is that it? No, Mija. It's not what it seems. How dare you! How dare you lie to me in my own home? You've made love to me in my home. Now you have an affair with my 16-year-old daughter? Mother, he's in love with me. And I'm in love with him. Rachel! And what's more, I'm having his baby. Maria. <laughs> Dios mio. I'm going back to Spain with her mother. You can't stop us or deny our love. Rachel, go to your room. No, mother. Go! <laughs> Claudia. You're through. You'll be on the next plane to Madrid if you value your career and reputation. You poison everything you touch. Every life. Get out! Get out of here! <laughs> Leave me alone. With my pain. And my liquor. Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> uh, could I have medium popcorn layered halfway with butter and salt? Sure thing. Do you know who that is? Of course, it's Gloria Peterson, that movie actress. A lot of movie stars come in here, Blandine. It doesn't throw me off. I'm down with that. 
Oh, God. I'm sorry. It's just, this really isn't layered halfway. It's more like two-thirds. Oh, sorry. I'll just... No, it's okay. I'll just have to mulch it to redistribute the salt. Good one, Layla. <sighs> Whatever. 350, please. Thank you. I served Phil Collins once. He was really nice. Oh, really? What happened? He said, Mopokon. Popcorn. Prank call, prank call, pray that they won't call. Bring, bring. Hello? 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 Who is this? Hello? Who is this? La 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 Since September 11th. Since September 11th. Since September 11th. In this time of la la la. La la la. La la la. In this time of la la la. We must. La la. La la. La la. La la. Ta-da. 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 Midterms? No way, Cassidy. I've got Professor Trudell wrapped around my proverbial little finger. He doesn't show me any mercy. I'll be lucky if I can mustard a B minus. Mustard? Oh. Don't you agree, Opal? Hey! You're not listening to me. I'm trying to tell you about my messy divorce, and you're sitting here watching the soap opera. Do you think that this fiction is more important than my reality? Alexis, I'm listening to you. Okay, fine. So I'm caught in this legal battle. Missed alimony checks, lawyers, all these new girlfriends who are half my age, and I can't even remember what it was like when I loved him. When I look at him, it's not that I even see anyone who I could have ever loved. Paisley, help me with this math problem. I know it's gonna be on the midterm. Okay, shoot. A postman delivers a package to your house at 1 o'clock. Wait, how big is this package? <laughs> Come on, Pays, concentrate. You live 70 kilometers away from the post office. He has 25 minutes to deliver his next three packages. How long does it take to deliver the third package? All I know is that your questions are making me horny, and I'm trying to study. Thanks for nothing. <sighs> the school on top of the hill. Mulberry Commons. What if? What if? Okay, camera. What if you're going to perform fellatio on your boyfriend, but when he disrobes, instead of a phallus, all he has is a bow tie made out of flesh? What do you do? Well, Freda, well, I guess I just untie the bow and suckle on each thread of flesh. But what if then one strand of flesh wraps around your throat and starts choking you while the other strand of flesh starts slapping you back and forth? Wah, 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 wah. What if? It's funny. The dreams I've been having lately? Dark, nightmarish dreams.
I made it through the labyrinth. I realized I had to stop running from the dancer within and embrace him. Hey Tamara, how's it going? How's your holiday break? Oh hey Erica, how's it going? My holiday break, you know, lots of hit in the books, late nights watching Sally, Jesse Raphael, nothing special, pretty boring, you know how it is. How was your break? It was amazing. I went backpacking through Germany and I discovered the most beautiful, quaint little ski resort in Bavaria. It hasn't been touched since the 1800s. It was perfect. I met this, the cutest German guy there, Fritz. We fell in love. We took a cross-country ski trip through the wilderness and camped out in the snow and lived off Nutella. It was the best experience of my life. Wow, that really does sound amazing. Yeah, it really, it really was. <laughs> well, I'm going to go grab some grub. Want to come with? Thanks for inviting me to lunch, Erica. And these fruit leathers? Great idea. Good diet tip, too. Yeah, aren't they great? Yeah, I've been doing this for a few weeks now. It's really, I've loved it. Um, how's yours? You know, the texture is okay. It's just, a, it's like sour apple. It's a little bit too sour. You know what I mean? Oh, really? Oh, because um, I got boysenberry, and it's amazing. Mm. It's like my taste buds are just exploding in my mouth with flavor. It's, you know, this is probably the best flavor I've ever tasted. Uh, if I hadn't eaten it all, I totally would have given you some. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. What? What? <sighs> oh my gosh. Three angels flying up in that cloud. <laughs> you missed it? Oh. That, that was the best experience of my life. Yeah, I did miss it. You know what, Erica, um, can I be honest with you for a minute? I'm glad that you get to see all these amazing things and everything. I just feel like my life doesn't compare and I feel like sometimes you're rubbing it in my face. I mean, it is amazing, but... Oh my God! Erica! I'm coming! I'm coming! Bye, Tamara! The angels are lifting me up to heaven! This is gonna be... Amazing! They're tracing this call. Stop calling me! La 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 la, la 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 la. Opal, 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 Opal. Opal, your friend Alexis has had a terrible injury to her spine. She's in a deep coma and she's near death. Yes, nurse. Did she ever discuss with you what she'd like in terms of funeral preparations? She really wanted to have a sex change. I mean, Opal, I know for a fact that Bob Hendricks did not hire me for that job because I'm a woman. I mean, sometimes I just want to be a guy, you know? Want to be a guy? Huh. Yeah, I guess that would be her dying wish. Well, that's not really hospital policy. Nurse, she's on the deathbed. A sex change would completely wipe out her account, but the operation would be covered. Then that's what we've got to do, nurse. More thread, please. Scalpel. Scissors. Opal? 
silicone injections, the removal of both breasts, and the reconstruction of the labia into a phallus. Alexis is a man now. That's great. And it gets better. Alexis has miraculously come out of his coma. All right. He can think perfectly well. He can see you and he can hear you, but he cannot speak or move. He's fully paralyzed. Huh. But he will live a very long life. Congratulations, Alexis. You're a real miracle, man. What if? What if? Okay, Freda. What if you drive off the freeway and stop at this family restaurant that has their version of a smoothie, which they call a roughie? What it is, is a smooth, frothy drink with large, big chunks, sharp chunks of ice cream and candy and peanut butter cups and Oreo cookies that when you take a sip, they tickle your throat. What do you do? Mmm, <gasps> Kimra, that sounds delicious. I'd guzzle it down in three big gulps. <laughs> but what if, with each swallow, the sharp chunks scratch and shred at your throat until you're swallowing huge choking throatfuls of hot blood with your cool ruffy? What if? <laughs> Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Construction site, Pasadena, August 30th. Thursday. You, white male, mid-twenties, walking with two co-workers crossing street. You said hi to me. Me, brunette and cream-colored Mercedes, turning right at corner. Can't stop thinking about your greeting. Popcorn. One senior. For the seven o'clock, almost a woman. Five fifty. What? Five fifty. Ow! You don't have to hurt my ears. Hurt my ears. Huh? Danger zone. What's that about? The war in Yugoslavia. Uh, who's in it? A cast of unknowns: Croatians, Bosnians, Serbians. Eh. Let's go see what's playing at the multiplex over at the mall. Okay, what should we see? There are a lot of movies playing here. They're all great. Worth seeing. Come on, you can do better than that. Fudge on Sunday starts in 15 minutes. It's a touching family drama. What's that one about? It's a coming-of-age story about a girl whose little sister is dying of cancer, but they always eat fudge on Sunday. It'll be 8.50. Well, look at it this way. At least you'll have a hilarious story to tell people. Yeah, a real cautionary tale about how you can't trust anyone to do anything anymore. Wait, look! on jeans are cool, but who can say for how long? We gotta go back and get those jeans. Jeans, 